Hello, everyone. Woo! Hello. Hi. First, let me tell you about La Realia. This is a solo book in the traditional vein that we have all come to know and love. It's a collection of thought about the places we've gone and the things we have done since the last. Theoretical musings about LARP and its uses, uh, practical considerations on the nuts and bolts of playing and running, how our games have gone right or wrong, what we've learned and how we can pass that along. In LARP Realia, we have a further discussion of past year's hot topic to lead. We have two different articles on uh, how things are done way over in Spain, and discussions on how LARP looks like when approached from the fields of theatre or law. The biggest section of the book, however, is design, rummaging around under the hood of the game. Some of the folks behind uh, College of Wizardry uh, tell us about the character writing process. And we have articles highlighting the extremes of human interaction, with one telling us how to create engaging, playable content of organized meetings and palavers, followed by one about actual fist fighting as the core concept of a LARP. <laughs> also, it's the first solo book to contain a food recipe, and the first with the nipples on the cover. <laughs> We wanted to do something a little bit different, so we wanted to make a book about the political dimension of LARP. And, and here, well, uh, if you look at the trends of what's in the book, you can see that there are lots of topics that are actually hot in politics, like right now, like refugees and fascism. Um, I was kind of expecting that there would be more stuff about, like, I don't know, like, scene politics, you know, like these arguments that we used to have on LARPers BFF, but actually there's none of that stuff in the book, which is probably a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> However, there are, for instance, articles on how it is to be a queer LARPer, like how it is to LARP if you're gay or if you're trans. And also, um, for some reason, the topic, topic of gender was very popular. So it's like in the trans article, it's obviously there. But there's also like articles on like playing drag in Just a Little Loving and um, also an article for, for instance, like LARP and feminism, and an article on how to make interesting female characters in historical settings while keeping the setting kind of realistic with the uh, gender roles. And then, like in every Solmo book, I think, or, or Knut book, there's lots of theory, and that's the case also this time. I don't know if it's good or bad, but it's there. Um, there's, for instance, an article on like how we can use the theories of political science to look at LARP, to use them to study LARP as political action. And then uh, there's also a very interesting new framework for looking at LARP because, you know, usually we uh, conceptualize LARP as play, but there's this new framework of, of looking at LARP as labor, which uh, sort of opens new interesting possibilities. And then, of course, uh, the most important thing in the LARP scene are the games themselves. So we have quite many articles on really interesting political games. And uh, already last year, I think we could see that Russian LARPs are trending. We're like getting interested in them and we're starting to realize that there's been lots of cool stuff going on in Russia already for some time. And it's um, actually like what the Russians seem to be really great at is uh, systems and simulations. And one article in this book is about this big Russian LARP 1905 from last summer, where you can see that how they really work the systems in the game. And there's also one article like anybody here interested in EduLARP should read, because, because in Moscow Lomonosov State University, there is this whole uh, center for using games in education, 
and they make really awesome edu larks. Like they made this lark about an elections campaign where you play the various uh, candidates and their teams, and this was going on like for several weeks, and it's so cool. But I think you should like read the books to know more, and um, so I think this is uh, this, but we'll be talking more tomorrow, because tomorrow we'll have an official book launch event from uh, 6 to 8 at the on the boat Ooh. at the like conference deck. It's like Pro 611. I don't know where it exactly is, but I'm sure we'll <laughs> find out. So we'll meet there and talk more about the books. And drink wine. And drink wine. <laughs> 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 <laughs>